what happened to our red wine. Hello and welcome back to German Brew today. Back to our red wine or our port wine we can say. Uh, we're using port wine yeast in this red wine. We started with 1.101. I'm sure it's completely dry. The tolerance of the yeast is enough. It's starting stormy, you can see it here on the airlock and on the bomb for it. Here is a fruit fly. There is a fruit fly. So that's why we're using an airlock. But this time, the first time I open it. We will rack it today in a other container and then fill it in bottles. I have here some wine bottles, with white wine bottles, but I'm sure red wine is also good in that we also will taste it. So, um, I can't taste so much because I still need to drive. We get try to get it out. Uh, it starts really stormy in the beginning. Uh, we're starting in April the 9th. It's more than three months old already. It smells really good. I'm pretty sure it's a nice red wine. So this one we will put carefully here up, but also I don't think the yeast will be so solid. Um, uh, so so uh, I think the yeast will be solid. So I'm sure this one of course is cleaned. My hands are sanitized and then we can start again. I still have a little bit gas. We try to degas it later. The problem is I almost can see the yeast. Um, just a little bit here in the ground, but oh, it's so see how clear it is. That's a really nice red wine. Hopefully, it tastes so good like it looks like. Okay, um, this one gets up again, this one go inside again, and we're starting with our first bottle. Um, I will don't fill them up to here, um, so I'm sure we get three full bottles and a tasting glass. Wait, I remember one thing first. This one can get inside already. First thing first. I wanted to degas it. There is still a lot of CO2 inside. one we will degas. I don't be afraid about oxygen because now here everything is just filled with CO2. You can see a lot of degassing, a lot of foam and the airlock getting crazy one eternity later now we can continue with uh, so we have three bottles with each 750 milliliter and one almost full 500 milliliter bottle. This one will be drink maybe, this one maybe will be a giveaway. So the first thing, see it, how clear it is, oh, you can, yeah now you can see how clear this is. It's really really clear, it's pretty, it's a nice red wine. 
and yeah so let's try it smells a little bit young but also you can smell um, it's heavy um, we don't have oaked it maybe when I try it I think okay we still need to oak it. If yes, now we need to get it out all of the bottle in a container again and we need to get oak. So let's try. Hmm. It's still sweet. Oh I didn't realize. It's still a sweet wine. It's not dry not deep it's a sweet refreshing wine I thought it's completely dry but the first thing you have is a fruitiness of juice wow okay so it's sweet it's a sweet wine normally I don't like to eat sweet wine Just thinking it fits perfectly maybe with cinnamon. Uh, cinnamon. Mm. Yeah, you can drink it just easy. It's it smells like a lot of alcohol. I don't know how much alcohol is inside. Because I'm sure if I just make it with my refractometer we get again 1.03, 1.04. Let's try. And I like open doors, my sick. Okay, here we have the receptometer. <coughs> Let's see how much we have. So we started with 1.010. What did I say? 1.04. So we end with 1.040. So, empty battery. Um, we have 1.040 that is still a sweet wine. So we starting with 1.101, we end with 1.040 and it's me around 9%. I think it's more. So I trust the uh, measuring in the start, but not in the end. We still have fruit, we still have sweetness. And we have alcohol. I can taste the alcohol. It's a red wine. It's a sweet red wine. I taste no difference to a bite wine. Um, not the expensive one, of course. Um, the cheaper one you can buy, yes, like this, the desert wine, the three red desert wine, like other like this. I'm sure my neighbors will like them because they like sweet wine. If you like the video, here are two more for you. And one is a YouTube thing you will like, the other one is my last video. Here down there you can subscribe and in the comments you can write, do you like your wine sweet or dry? And what do you think about this red one. We see you at the next time. Bye.